Hey guys, I'm Karan Binani from Hobby Scrub, and in this video, I'm going to tell you how to personalize and completely customize your Android smartphone experience. You will see how I can make your Android smartphone look like this from that, and also how you can add simple finger gestures to launch applications in a matter of seconds from your home screen itself. To be able to do this, you'll need a couple of apps. Most of them are free, except for the Icon Pack, which is $1.99. But don't worry, you can choose from amongst the free ones too. And I have a list of them in the description. And links to all of these apps are also in the description. So go ahead and install all of these. And other than that, you're also going to need this amazing wallpaper. You'll have to download it uh, into your gallery. So the link is in the description again. And once you have this, you're all set to customize. Now I'll take you through all the steps that you need to follow to be able to do this. But feel free to make any customization or any changes on the go. The whole point is to learn how to use these. When you tap on Nova Launcher, it's going to ask you whether you want to make it your default home screen replacement. Yes, you need to do that. Once you do that, your screen would look something like this. Get rid of the icons that are already there on the home screen because you're going to have to pull out the ones that you really like and you really need. Um, you know, throughout the day. So I'm going to go ahead and take out all of those icons on my home screen. And now I'm going to drag one icon over the other to put them or group them under a particular folder. What I generally do is have all my social media icons in one folder, all my media and entertainment in one, and the ones that I use the most to be outside, like the phone, the gallery and so on. Now you need to change the icon pack. So long tap on home screen, tap settings, then go into look and feel and then icon theme. Now, I have a lot of those installed, but the one that you're going to use for this one is Project X. Again, that's a paid one. You can have, an, uh, you know, have a free one also, and it's going to change right there automatically. All right. Now, the next thing you need to do is get rid of the Google uh, launcher, the, the Google Now launcher. You don't need that. Long tap and go and change your wallpaper now. You can select the one that you've just installed or downloaded from the link that I shared. And now you see this looks a lot like how you would want it to. But the folders right now, they look different because you know it looks like a patch with a white background. You can change that. And thanks to Nova Launcher, that's how you can do it. So go again into settings and then tap into folders. You're going to have to set your folder preview to grid and folder background to none. And then transition animation to zoom. Change your background color to black and the transparency to 30% or 20%. Once you do this, when you hit back, uh, before that, go into icon layout, change the icon size to 110% and put your icon label off. You pretty much know what those icons are. I mean, so you don't need their names. And now you will see that your folder looks a lot better. You know, it's got this nice translucent black background and the icons really pop out. Next, you need to get rid of the icons in the dock, the, the bottom layer. Now to do that again, long tap on home screen, go into settings, tap on dock and you'll have to disable dock. So you've got an enable option on the top. That's where you disable it. And when you go back, you will see that the dock is gone. Okay. And to, but just to highlight, you know, the, the kind of customization that's possible, just go back into dock, enable it for a second, and you can go into dock pages. You can have two, three, four, five dock pages if you want, and you can have more and more icons in your dock to get quick access. So that's pretty cool as well. But again, just for the sake of this home screen setup, I'm going to put it to zero. Another thing you'll notice is that Nova by default puts in about three pages. You don't need that for this setup. You can still have it if you want, but I don't need it. So I'm just going to get rid of those and I'll just have the one single home screen that I want. The next customization is not as important, but just to tell you that it's there, you can go into desktop, into desktop grid, and you can actually change the number of rows and columns that your home screen is divided into. You could go all the way up to 10 by 10 or nine by nine, just so that you can have more uh, space and you can adjust for more icons and go into icon size, change that to 105 and your icon label to put to be off. Now you'd see that the grids have become more concentrated so the icons have come together but you know you can just replace them just quickly sort of reorganize and uh, have them the way you want all right i'm just going to redo that for you all right now you've got this now you want to get the finger gestures right please note that is a nova premium feature so you'll have to go ahead to gestures and inputs and you're going to have to look at these possible gestures 
you'll have to install Nova Launcher Prime for it, which is a paid application so that you can unlock this feature. Okay, now you can go ahead and all of these are available gestures to which you can assign a particular action, a shortcut, or, you know, just launch an app. So I have configured to either launch the calculator and the calendar with respect to the turnings or the clockwise rotations that I make with my fingers. So there is a whole list of gestures that you can assign functions or application shortcuts to. But what you really need to do is also assign something to swipe up and that's app drawer. So every time you swipe up on the screen, your application uh, drawer comes up. But the application drawer has this weird white patchy background. So go back into settings, into app and widget drawers, change the app grid size to five by five. So it's just a little neater and more spaced out. Go into icon size, change that to 105%, have the labels on and change the color to white because I'm gonna change the background to a darker black background. So the white will stand out. Ensure that uh, you select your background to black and then set the transparency to 30%. Now your icons would look really nice, they'll pop out and you know, you'll have this nice white label. Ensure that card background is switched off. You don't want to have that patch, okay? So it looks really bad and ugly. And the next thing you wanna do is also uh, disable pull to search, okay? That's, it's a little weird action. So just, just have that switched off. And now when you swipe open your app drawer, you will see it looks really nice. The colors really stand out on the AMOLED display and it looks good. Now what's missing is this information widget, which is your clock and calendar and time and all of that. So long press on your home screen and this time tap widgets. You must have installed uh, Zooper widgets that I've, I had asked you to in the, in the starting of the video. Tap and hold on the widget, drag and drop it onto the home screen and just resize it. So long tap again tap on resize and then you got to just extend the widget size to you know be a little bigger so it, it takes more space okay bigger the better because it gives you a better clarity when you're uh, installing the Zooper widget anyway tap on it and now you will see this whole list of available Zooper widget packs you can search for them on play store and have like a bunch of these downloaded onto your phone and they'll all show up here but for the sake of this video you need ghosty Zooper. it's free of cost i think um at the time i got it it was a paid one but now it's free so go ahead and install that and when you tap on it you will see all the available widgets within this widget pack and imagine all of these are, are basically available for you. You can tap on any one of these and have them display on your home screen. And you can have multiple of these as well. This is the one you need. So tap on it and it just gets selected. The little preview window on the top tells you how big it's going to look on your home screen. And when you go back, the widget refreshes on its own and shows the actual widget that you selected. Now, if you wanna customize it, just tap on it. Go into layout. What the layout does is shows you each element as a layer. And if you want to just see which one is what, just tap on the checkbox and you will see what it really represents. So if you tap on circle, it's the circle. You can tap on the circle and then change elements or colors or size and all of that. So let's say I don't want pink and blue. I want maybe a yellow and a pink. So my main color is yellow and then I can check the gradient color to be you know, on the pinkish side. And that's it. Now you see how it looks a lot different and in fact it matches better it's going to refresh on its own and there you go i think this looks better but again it's completely up to you to customize all of this if possible and you know if you've got the time and the and the, the motivation to do that um i can also set what i want when i tap on individual elements it's called module on tap so let's say right now i am in the time module and when i tap on sorry i'm on the calendar the the date module it should open calendar and when uh, i tap on the time module which is 2027 at the moment module on tap should open my alarm setup that's it and when i go back if i tap on my clock it's going to open the alarm setup and if i tap on calendar oops sorry if i tap on calendar it's going to open my calendar so i can assign functions as well now I can scale this entire thing up if I want to. You can just scroll down, go to scaling and you can increase it, but you don't want to go beyond the preview window size because it's just going to get cut off. The widget size is, is not as big right now, but you can actually go ahead and Im increase the widget size if you want. So long tap, resize, and you can increase the widget size here first. 
And now you can go back in and increase the scaling because you see that the available preview is also more now. So you know how much room you have around that widget. So you can increase the size and then go back and it'll, sh it'll really blow up. But yeah, you need to do that so that it doesn't get cut off. So there you go, guys. This is what it looks like. Uh, you've got all your functionalities in place, you know, clockwise, finger swipe or, or anti-clock, have your notifications with a swipe down app drawer. Your folder looks brilliant and overall your phone looks very different now. Now, Zooper is really the king here, you know. Nova does all the functions, but Zooper is what makes it look good. This is the Fox Zooper widget. Again, you can just download it from the Play Store. This is the Osia. Uh, Zooper widget, but you can see that all of these widget packs, Zooper widget packs, have these amazing widgets pre-built and, you know, developed for you already by people. You can still go ahead and customize them. And, you know, when you drag and drop a widget, a Zooper widget on your home screen, just tap on it. And then now you can open from any of these available and installed Zooper widget packs. The great part is that uh, you can have plenty of those on your home screen. So you're not limited to one or two or five. And you're free to just, you know, like go ahead and experiment. I mean, there's nothing stopping you from using all of these widgets onto your home screen. And I've been able to create some beautiful home screen setups, as you can see. Uh, they're vibrant, they're colorful. Uh, you can have dark ones and dull ones and sad ones. <laughs> it's totally up to you. But then just go ahead and explore. Uh, apply some really cool wallpapers and just experiment with these widgets with icon packs and Nova Launcher. Change the grid size, change the fonts and see what you come up with. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Look at some other videos as well that I have already made and leave me a thumbs up if you really enjoyed watching this.